Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. Different liners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people testifying cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, help of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In today's Gospel, Jesus teaches us that those who count for nothing in the world, the poor, the meek, the pure of heart, the persecuted, are truly blessed. God chooses to be on their side, and they are most precious ones in his eyes. Do we see blessedness only in terms of riches, power, and being honored? Do we involve ourselves to the service of those who are not blessed? In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth is on earth, peace to people of the deep. We bless you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God and we keep, O God Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth is on earth, peace to be part of the team. Lord Jesus Christ, only be God Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, peace Seeds of the world have mercy on us. We take away the seeds of the world, receive our prayer. We are seeds and Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Jeremiah teaches us that blessedness lies in relying on the Lord rather than on human beings, rich and powerful they may be. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the one who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord, is like a barren bush in the desert 
that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste, a salt and empty air. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes. Its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like straw when which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. The Apostle Paul reminds us that if our hopes are limited to this life and what it offers us, then we are to be pitied indeed. But we place our hope in the risen Lord who prepares for us eternal life. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hope in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came down with the twelve and stood on a stretch of level ground with a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of people, the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon. And raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will be laughed. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. 
Rejoice and live for joy in that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. What to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our Gospel for this Sunday speaks about the Sermon on, sermon on the Mount. But on the account of St. Luke, it is Sermon on the Level Ground. But nevertheless, it is focused on the sermon. My dear friends, Jesus Christ tells his disciples about the blessed are you who are poor. Bakit kaya the first thing na kinonsider ni Jesus Christ are the poor? Because the poor are the closest person to his heart. My dear friends, in our country, or not in, even in our places, there are so many poor. Hindi natin may kakaila, madami pong naghihirap. Marami po yung mga dukha. And so, these are the people close to Jesus Christ. Hindi ko naman sinasabi that kailangan maging dukha tayo in order for us to be close to Jesus Christ. No. But, these people considers more Jesus Christ in their life. Bakit kaya? Paano ka magiging masaya if hindi ka nakakakain ng tatlong beses sa isang araw, paano ka magiging masaya if naglulok sa ka? Paano ka magiging masaya if iniinsult ka? So tell me, how can you feel the presence of God or how can you be happy with this kind of situation? But my dear friends, God is telling us that when we are poor, when we are hungry, we feel the presence of God in our life. By what means? We rely on Him. We trust in Him. So, what niya, sinasabi nila ni Locano, ag talektelatan kini Apo Diyos. We trust God. Sabi nga sa Tagalog, may awa ang Diyos. Bahala ng Diyos sa amin. Bakit kaya nila nasasabi yun? Because they believe that God will continue to assist them. That God will continue to satisfy their hunger. Not only physical hunger, but through their spiritual hunger. My dear friends, are we considering these poor people our, as our brothers and sisters who has a deep faith in God? Kasi nga sila, meron lang silang Diyos. Sila, iniisip lang nila na nagtitiwala sila sa Diyos. Hindi na nila iniisip yung kahirapan. But, they only rely for the power of God in their life. My dear friends, the gospel for today reminds us about our role as Christians. Our role as baptized Christians. Our role as, our, as believers. Bakit? These people needs our help. Not only material things. Not only uh, emotional support. But they need our spiritual support. We are praying for them. And that is why lahat ng audience ni Jesus Christ, He considered them as poor. Because they need God in their life. And that is why we always pray. We always seek God in our life because we need God in our life. My dear friends, though we are materially inclined, but sometimes there should also be a balance. This, this gospel reminds us to share what we have, to give what, the best what we have to these people so that they can experience happiness in their life. 
Pero kung tayo namang mga Pilipino, kung pagkong batayan, kahit na walang-wala na tayo, makikita pa rin natin yung smile sa ating mukha. Kahit na nga nahihirapan tayo, nakikita pa rin yung galak sa ating mukha. Because of one thing, that is, we believe and we trust the power of God. Masyado tayong attached sa Diyos. Kaya nga kung titignan natin, bakit pumupunta yung mga dukha sa simbahan? Because they believe that God will continue to support them. Ganun din po tayo. In our spiritual life, sometimes meron din tayong hunger. Meron din tayong lackings in our life. And that is why we go to the church. We are praying to sustain our spiritual life. Ganun din po ang mga tao. Ganun din po ang Diyos. He will continue to support us. He will continue to give us what we need in life as long as we trust in Him. Yun siguro yung magandang isipin natin. Kaya nga kung titignan natin on the first part, sabi niya, blessed are you. But on the second part, woe to you. It's a negative connotation. Woe to you who are rich. Bakit? Because these are the people who never consider these brothers and sisters who are poor and sharing the resources to them. My dear friends, God is telling us to share, to give our generosity, most especially for those who are in need. Ang mga, mga dukha, sila po yung nakaka-experience ng injustices. Yung mga dukha, sila po yung mga nakaka-experience ng madaming mga, mga bagay-bagay sa mundo. But for us, na meron naman, let us try to give them, to share what we have and experience what really happiness it is. Most especially when we share Christ in their life. This is our mission as baptized Christian. This is our role as Christian to share Christ with one another. Most especially for those people who are poor, who are hungry, and at the same time, who are weeping and persecuted. Because Christ will sustain our life, Christ will give us happiness in our life. Amen. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand of God, God the, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Conscious of God's blessings to us, let us raise our voices to our Heavenly Father, as we pray for the needs of the whole church, full of confidence, we pray, listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For the shepherds of the church, may they put their hope in the Lord, which strengthen those who serve his people with integrity. We pray. Listen to the prayers of your church, Lord. For those who aspire to hold public office in our country, may they have the wisdom, the courage, and the honesty to use their gifts and resources in the service of the country, especially for the poor and the powerless. We pray. Listen, Listen to, to the, the prayer, prayer of, of your church, church, Lord. For those who are in the front lines against the COVID-19 pandemic, May they find hope, affection, and assistance from the local authorities and their communities. We pray. 
Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. For our beloved dead, may God's mercy be upon them, that they may reach eternal life with him. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intention. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your church, Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people who hope in your infinite mercy. May these petitions help us to see our blessedness above all material goods, careers, or honors. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his death, birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Santo, 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 Dios na kapangyarihan, Gusto sa wala na lang, Kukupasana, O sana, Sa paligasan, Pinapala na rito sa nalang pagigo, O sana, O sana, Sa paligasan, Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like you do, Paul so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that be the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, then formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant us in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Sa 
mas basa inatit inialay buhay na ganap ang sa amin kaloo at pagsasalo wala At pagsasalo, walang Please all stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. For every petition, let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray all together. Shepherd of souls and, and Savior, Savior of the nations, nations. politics is your, your gift, gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your lovely name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Saint Dominic de Guzman, pray for us. Please be seated. 
We will now have the second basket collection for the expansion of the facade of the Basilica of Our Lady of Fiat. Those who wish to give more may give your donation to the Paris office. Thank you. Please then. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May Almighty God always keep you every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and true and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits, and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They, no dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.